Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons, what the fuck? Oh, look at this! We got some Jester King up tonight, dudes! Black Metal! Detroit Rock City! Ah. Paul, at PA Brunos, do you know about Black Metal? I know your fucking devil worshipping ass does. Ass? Yes. Yeah, he's got a nice bear ass. No! <laughs> no, bad! No PA Bear News, you know better! PA Bear News. <laughs> Though it's black metal, and we know for sure that Paul at P.A. Brunos paints his face kind of like this guy. Every and, day when he and, goes to work. And hey, sing, Paul, you're yeah. high. And sings death metal music. Yes. So, we have a beer from Jester King, and this beer was provided to us by our good Friday buddy. Friday. Friday. Fuck. Our good buddy. Our good fuck down in Texas. <laughs> Fuck with hey, me. dudes, he's the one hiccuping no. tonight. You gotta get on him, no. not Johnny. I have no hiccups. Give him the crap tonight. <laughs> it's only your imagination. I do not <laughs> have hiccups. <laughs> so, this was sent to us by our good buddy Texas Steve. Shout out to Texas, Texas Steve. Steve. Okay, start pouring, I'll tell. Since you have the hiccups. Okay, Jester King Craft Brewing, Austin, Austin Texas, Bastard. you fucking us of A. Black oh. Metal, Farmhouse Imperial Stout, Farmhouse Imperial Wait, Stout is available The year best round. bottle awesome. cap yes. ever. It follows you. It's like, yes. what was that movie, Saw? Evil eyes will follow you. I think it was like the movie Saw. Exactly. There is no better bottle crown than uh, Jester King. Okay, 9.3% ABV. Stemless sifter. Yeah, there you go. And I've used 60. We've got eight malts in this Jester King, and we've got hops wow. of Millennium and EKG. <coughs> and the yeast is Farmhouse, which wow. is previous version, used English L yeast, and was 10% ABV. 70% mm -hmm. <clears throat> organic ingredients, which means 30% or inorganic and genetically, modifi <laughs> genetically modified, radiated, and probably bad for your health. I like that shit that grows up by the nuclear waste dump myself. myself. Yeah, that looks like it would be Jester King there. <laughs> yes. If you look at this guy, you may think he grew up by the nuclear waste dump. We, we need to keep that one. This is the like one of the best crowns. Yeah. Anyways, so, super dark head on this beer. There is no light coming through the body of this beer. I've got a solid finger and a quarter head. No light soaps... Yeah, that finger too. No soap sudsy bubbles, and when I swirl it, I'm getting epic, epic glass slicing and tons of alcohol legs. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Uh, I think that's Johnny G reporting oh, in. Yes, what do we have? Let's see, no problem. Oh, shit. Come on, that my phone's old. Glad man. DJ shared, probably stronger, pop, pop, okay, whatever. Johnny G, we're reading your like, thing here. Um... Uh, share black metal should be awesome. Fat heads just followed their session IPA the other day, but your piss is probably stronger. Yes, yes, my piss is stronger. You got it, Johnny G. No, oh, look, he's learning. <laughs> he's watched videos. If you haven't watched videos and don't understand that Johnny's piss is probably higher ABV than most of the beers you're drinking, well, you've got a problem. Don't, don't think. Yep. So. Back to the beer. Oh, wait, I'm texting I'll get him a, back. I'll get an aroma on this spot while he's texting. Well, I'm getting right up front ch chocolate, coffee, farmhouse funk, a lot of dark fr fruits, excuse me, hiccups here, caramel, toffee, sweetness. I'm getting a drink. A lot of coffee, R really, a lot of coffee. It did have a nice smell. Mm. Look, yeah, he's uh, a lot of nice smell. I'm not going to tell you what it smells like, but it had, had a nice smell. Well, it's kind of like the decadence. <laughs> it just blew me away. I just wanted to drink. Yeah, that too. There's no alcohol aroma at all, but mm. coffee, toffee, caramel, dark chocolate, bit of mil milk chocolate. A bit of milk. <gasps> like you've never had a hiccup, motherfucker? Never have. It's always been him. I've just been like, like, what are those things? Troliquists? I'm the dummy. He's had the hiccups, but he's just been throwing them through me. Like, 
Buckaroo Banzai said, life of a beer geek is always intense. Cheers. Who's fucking Buckaroo's Banzai? Oh, is that like Danielson? Oh, fucking crying technique. Oh, kick Johnny in the balls. Wow. A lot of carbonation in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. I, I was hoping for a little bit bigger wow. mouthfeel out of it, but um, maybe that's the farmhouse style. Yeah. It's kind of got that... It, I, I could see a farmhouse fruitiness... Saison, not not truly a thick, you know, imperial stout. Like a little tartness, maybe? Yeah. It's it's interesting. It's like dark chocolate that's been kicked up, like, more in intense, like, dark dark chocolate with a bit of sourness to it, almost. Yeah. yeah. There's a milky, milky sort of, like, um, almost milk stout lactose quality to it. I don't I'd, I'd say it's a meat... Me, excuse me, medium body. I get a lot of caramel. <laughs> that wasn't real. My hiccups are real. I get a lot of coffee, a lot of dark roasted malt, and heavy dark chocolate in this. Really? <clears throat> mm hmm. All the time, the carbonation is really present. It has a really, like, zippy, zippy carbonation to it. Hmm. This is, a, this is a hard beer, in my estimation, anyway, to grade. Or talk about. Or talk about when you have hiccups. Uh, Excuse me. And what do you think works better, peanut butter or sugar? Fuck. I'm going to find out because I'll go upstairs and eat both. Excuse me. But anyway. Um, hmm. I, you, were give, you were joning on me earlier tonight. About yeah, I know, me. right? <laughs> like, when are you going to have hookups? Fuck me. Um, yeah. So, hmm. This, uh, like I said, this, this is a more difficult Russian Imperial to, to grade because, to me, in the flavor, it's a Russian Imperial stout that's real heavy on, like, the dark roasted malts and coffee side and dark chocolate, like, cacao side. But it's also got that, like, effervescence of a Saison, maybe, or a Bel Belgian-style ale. And then you get that little bit of a twist of some tartness from the far, excuse me, from the, um... Fart house? Ah, fuck. From the wild yeast. <clears throat> excuse me. That, like, kind of, like, twisted a little bit. What do you think? Since you're Mr. Know-it-all, motherfucker with no hic hiccups. I'm going to skip me, and I'm going to go over to our buddies over ah, at Ray I'll Beer. Be son of a bitch. Okay. Our buddies over at Ray Bear, 9.3%, so they haven't really given it a 100, but they gave it a 98. The dudes over at Beer Advocate, on the other hand... Which I'm surprised. It's not even 10% and they give it a 98. True. Uh, the Beer Advocate, 89. Hmm. I think it's better than 89. It is a different category of Imperial Stout. Mm -hmm. Just like a bourbon is, bourbon stout or, or something. It's truly a funky stout. That's why it's Jester King. Jester, they're playing with your ass. I don't know, playing with your taste buds. I don't know. He's described it in a way I wouldn't describe it. I don't know how you would describe this. That's because I'm the beer geek. Okay. I'm the stun drinker. I'm drinking for the common man. And I can tell you, some Budweiser dude picking up this would Shit. be like, what the fuck is this? He thought he'd be tele teleported <laughs> to another planet. He'd be like, oh, this is crap. Mm -hmm. um, it's not crap. It's different. I think the difference is the farmhouse style that they've applied to a Russian Imperial stout. And they, they've started out as it's the... It's tart. That's right. It's sour. Mm -hmm. They've started out with that Russian Imperial base of, like, malt bill and everything. And then they put the twist of it in that farmhouse. Now, I understand 100% why Jester King's doing that. Because their brewery is 100% wild yeast now. Because when you go that route, 
you have to go that route. When you try to put other yeast in there. Oh, wait, Jen, you uh, probably back. Oh, boy. Uh -huh, when nice. you put other you yeast in there. <laughs> together always makes for awesome videos, in my opinion. Yes, it does, Johnny G. Oh, uh, oh tell DJ if you want some wicked weed sours, let this year, let me know. Later this year, let me know. Hey, Johnny G. Yeah, DJ would like some uh, wicked sours. <laughs> Johnny G, bad. You're encouraging the stun tr drinker. Ugh. We will. Look, he's answering now. So, anyways, like I was say saying, the difference the is with this beer video. is the yeast that they've used in it, and it's put that twist on the Russian interior, <laughs> imperial style base. Stay on message. Interior. Imperial. You almost said interior. <laughs> almost, but I didn't. On the Russian imperial style base, it's the yeast that's that's really dry driving this beer and either you like that tart like sort of tart taste to to it or you don't i mean i'm curious what do they say I don't know. look they got a whole fucking book they got more hey it's suitable too. for vegetarians and vegans uh hey, if you're vegan. black no i'm not black metal farmhouse and beer like uh, and punishing brood fermented by the sheer force of its awesome will best enjoyed while pumping out blast beats what? My, Last beat? My wife isn't here. <laughs> no. no. I'd be pumping her out. Um, best enjoy. I'm not touching that. <laughs> Summon, summoning trolls or enjoying a nice leisurely Paul? reading. I'm, Do you know about summon, summoning troll, trolls, what? Paul? A Can you help us? Paul, what's a necronomicon? What? Uh, yeah. Jester King. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. Well... I don't know really how to rate this beer. What are you going to rate it? <laughs> wow, really? Um, yeah, really. I'm going to give this beer, for what it is, it's described as a farmhouse Russian Imperial Stout. It doesn't pretend to be a traditional Russian Imperial Stout, so I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it like a 95, just into the A scale. Not A minus, B plus, whatever. I'm going to give it just an A. Why? Because it is, as it describes in the beer, it's unique. And I think it has cellaring potential. Now, this particular bottle, I say, probably has about a year on it. I think maybe with a little more time, that funk and everything may, may balance out. And it's never going to be a traditional Russian Imperial style. But for what it is, it's a well-made well beer. Excuse me. And you can tell it's been made with care and good ingredients. I can't go there. Um, really? No. I'm giving it an 88. <laughs> wow, 88, really? Yeah, and and I say that it's a good beer. Oh, oh wait, wait. Johnny G responded back. Haha, ha, that works. The most direct form of communication. Yes. Watch the video. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, so, the... Let, let me put it to you this way. I like a stout. This is a funky rendition of a stout. It's not up to my funkiness. I, I, it just, it plays too much. I'm not a big fan of it. It just doesn't, it, it's a good tasting beer. I'm not going to seek it out unless it's behind me in one of these boxes. Probably and, is. Yeah. And, um, one one. yes. Um, but, like you said, I'd like to see what it tastes like maybe down the road. I just don't... It, it doesn't appeal to me as a regular beer drinker. Uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's, got, it's got its own fans, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I think people will like it for what it is. It just doesn't... For me, it's not there. I think before... They used the farmhouse yeast, and they and they were using the English ale yeast. It wasn't a polarizing beer, but I think now that they're using the like the farmhouse yeast, it's more of a polarizing beer because not everyone likes that funk that a farmhouse yeast puts into a beer. But see, I I like the funk that a farmhouse yeast puts into a saison. Sure, but it just it for me mm -hmm. a quad. 
it may be doing well, but for an Imperial Stout, it just kind of, it's like sour milk. It just, it's just not pleasant to drink all that much. I mean, I can take it because I, it, it's got that funky taste and, and I'm used to that, but for me or a beginning beer drinker or something like that, this will turn somebody off. Mm -hmm. I think that you really got to develop your palate as a beer drinker, you know, across trying, you know, Belgians and Saisons and IPAs and Stouts and all that to really understand what this beer offers. As an everyday beer drinker, I don't think this is something that they're going to enjoy. For the unique, somebody that wants something di totally different, this is something that they'll like. Yep. So, we basically got a polarizing beer here that I'm giving... What did I give it? Shit. A? You gave it an A. You didn't give it a number. I gave it an A. I'd say, I'd say 95, just into the A range. Because I'm grading it as a farmhouse size on and a Russian Imperial style... Or, not size on. Farmhouse ale in the Russian Imperial style style. Johnny's giving you that, like, what, B plus range? Why? Because it's a polarizing beer. You're going to be between that, I think, that B plus and A range on this beer because of what it is. Not everybody's into the funk. And when you apply the funk to a beer that style that a lot of people like, Russian Imperial Stout, you're going to have people that say, eh, maybe that's not for me. So, what's most important is not what you grade this beer, but... Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, Johnny G. That Johnny, Johnny well, G is refined for I need to make a road trip to see you guys sometime in only five hours. Um... Dude, <laughs> quit interrupting. interrupting our review. Johnny, come on. We're trying to do a review here. You keep interrupting us. What the heck? hell, dude? Get your ass in the car and come on and drink. Yeah, five hours? Come on. Where dude, are you? Dude, do you think he... I can... think you can be here by the time our crescendo beer is, let's say it's 1024 now. Yeah. Yeah, five hours, 11. We got at least five more. 124, Three twenty-four. Yeah. Your butt is here. Get your ass here. Look, you guys are seeing us drink this beer, but Kentucky dish dishwashers go between uh, these blah, beers. Blah, blah. I got the hiccups, dude. <laughs> Kentucky dishwashers go between these beers. Can you hang, Johnny? Can you hang with that? Well, let's see, ask him. Can you hang with Kentucky dishwashers? Can you hang <laughs> with? <laughs> can. Kentucky Come on, you can do it. Dishwashers. I don't know if that's what that is. Between, between beers. Your phone sucks. I know. <laughs> okay, so, Johnny, you're going to come with us. He's going to see if he can have <laughs> one, of these days. With the, one of these days. Or he might be totally blown. Like, fuck that. He might be scared away and say, fuck that. So, think globally, drink globally, support the craft beer movement. Don't drink send your... any more of this to me. Blah, send it to me. Yeah, send it to Paul and DJ. <laughs> I've got two more bottles of it, so we'll At see how it drinks. bear ass brew news. <laughs> bear no, news. bad. No bear ass brew news. Bad. Paul. Hey, Paul. Don't listen to that. No. You know what? No, don't you listen. You know you'll probably see this after you're up there in albino rhino land. You should, you should give him the full moon. <laughs> you're evil. So, to the next DJ's brew tube, thanks a million for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Rate, comment, and what? Rate. <laughs> Come and subscribe and hit the like button. And tell them a cure for hiccups. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, peace out.